Hey, 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 the folks, this is GreenyXI, welcoming you right back to Let's Play Silent Hill 3. This is episode... 10? <laughs> um, in the last episode, we made it to the theme park. After a bit of difficulty. And if I hadn't come to the save point, I wouldn't notice this key by here. Oh, it just left without it. <laughs> roller coaster key. Uh, mountain coaster. So we're going on the roller coaster where we died in the in a nightmare at the start of the game. So that's something. That That's something. <laughs> I would have completely missed that and just been wandering around for ages. Oh shit! You still there when we came out? I did not expect that. Uh, <laughs> we're going here? No. Oh great. Uh, no, let me out. <laughs> let me load the game back up. Not really. That's a right. That was that was not good. But oh Christ. Oh, Christ. Alright, will that do it? Will that do it? Let me out, let me out, let me out. Oh, no, let me out. <laughs> ah, no, the camera. Right. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, and the dogs. They would be dogs. My least favourite of enemies. Just have a look around for like dumbs. <laughs> and somehow avoiding the dog. Right, mountain coaster. If you don't have this key, I think you give an over like in the nightmare. I think you gotta do what I'm about to do in a set. What the? <laughs> it's not that surprising after everything we've seen, is it? Ticket booth. But we can't go on without a ticket. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> And up we go. I'm pretty sure you need the ski to get into like a, a booth. I thought it was the ticket booth, but maybe there's another little little box up here. Box room thing. Yeah. Sorted. Oh, hello. <laughs> I feel like I'd catch something nasty if I touched it. I really better not mess with it. Not that I especially want to. Well, no, don't t don't touch the, the hanging body. It's for the best. Health drinks. Good. Yeah, turn the roller coaster off. There we go. We shouldn't get everyone over now. Before I do anything else. Are we on yellow again? Did the dog hit us? That's odd. I, I didn't even notice that happening. Um, I'm not going to heal. Oh, shit. That's what I was going to do. And equip. It's time for us to run along the tracks, which reminds me of Left 4 Dead 2, actually. The, obviously, the fun fair. The fun fair campaign. Or map. I miss those games. I'd love a third game, but I won't be getting an Xbox. So <laughs> I'd want it to come to PS5 as well. Let's see what actually happens when we make it without dying where we end up I think I know I think we've only got one little bit left of of the area now it's only a short area I hired you to find the girl, and you performed serviceably. What is it now? You lied to me about Heather, lady. I don't like being used. Lie? <laughs> what lie? That Heather was kidnapped from you. But it's true. She was originally one of us. That man, Harry Mason, stole her away and kept her hidden from us. Yeah? Well, she says she was happy. She was brainwashed by him. Deceived. Because her true self had not yet awoken. She carries God within her. But when Alessa, 
Mother of God truly awakens. Yeah, what's gonna happen? She will usher in the eternal paradise. <laughs> what kind of place is that? A place with no pain, no hunger, no sickness, no old age. There will be no greed or war, and all will live by God's grace alone. No this, no that, no nothing. A paradise. For castrated sheep, maybe. <sighs> Sounds pretty boring. I pity you. You still don't understand. You're going to kill me? Is it really so easy for you? I've done it before. Then I truly do pity you. Okay, we survived this time, and it looks like our, our Douglas, our inspector, wasn't completely on our side all along. But now, now I think he sees oh, more popcorn. Now he's seen the errors of his ways, kind of thing. I think is that going to be the end of Claudia? I guess we'll find out. Where are we now? It's the part I'm thinking of. It is. It's the. Fun house, right? I, I'd like a save point. <laughs> oh, oh, <laughs> well, there you are. She doesn't say anything anymore when she sees these things. Her head doesn't hurt anymore. I guess it's because things are getting clearer for her. Which is, you know, all good for me. Where are we to now? What's it say? Haunted Mansion entrance. Yeah, it's the, the fun house. Uh, either way, <laughs> I don't want to go quite in there quite yet. Let's have a little exploration around here. Maybe for some health items or... Because you can't insta-death in there. Nothing around here? Well, we queued up. <laughs> One person can be a queue. <laughs> don't judge me. Welcome to the Borley Haunted Mansion. I love this part. We're so glad you came. Alright, open Please the door. come inside. And look around. When you feel you're ready, it is actually voice acted. It's talking. I don't know how loud I'm going to have the, the volume in the background. But it's just like tourist. Like museum style. Help! Help! <laughs> Do you hear those voices? A family of four was sliced into bloody pieces in this room. Mm -hmm. Oh, the cries of the children. The murderer was caught. Do you know why he said he killed his family? Because I felt I had to. Suppose there's as good a reason as any to murder. I'm lying. It's all just a joke. Ha. I wanted to scare you, that's all. The truth is, only one person died. By suicide. It's a lot of blood for one person. <laughs> How'd he kill himself? Slit his throat and just spread it everywhere, exorcist style. I guess he's the guy. <laughs> That's Danny. <laughs> Hi, Danny. Not quiet, young man, but quite friendly. As you can see, he was so eager to meet you. Yeah, it's nice he to meet him too. In New Orleans, but came here after first losing his way. Oh, 
Maybe you might know. Where is the path to heaven? So it's a song with our line in it. <laughs> it sounds like they're meant for this to be part of the attractions. Who would have done this? I don't know. Can I can I come through? No? Ah, oh, oh, hey, door by you. This mansion is quite old. It's a bit annoying because you have to sit through all this again. Sometimes if you get the instant the death. I can't remember what the instant death is, so I'm a little bit. Beneath the floor, there's nothing. <gasps> I think it might be something to do with that, funnily enough. Let's go this way. No, we can't. What about that red cable? Oh, it's a rope. Never mind. I thought it was a cable. I am so <laughs> sorry. This is just falling Go. apart. The <laughs> mechanism is broken, you see. <laughs> it wasn't supposed to stop there, I assure you. Oh. <laughs> There's the exit. I hope yeah, you exit. Your tour. It, it was fantastic. Come Let me out. <laughs> or if you'd prefer, we could come and visit you instead. To be fair, as a haunted house, it's amazing. <laughs> I'd love to go to one like that. That was supposed to be the exit, but it seems that no one wants you to leave. Mm. Ooh! Everyone this is part. Really this is the instant death part. You. Don't get caught by the red. Stay with them Whatever the hell the bloody I red is. Agree with them. Don't be afraid. Dying is much easier. Ooh, I'm getting hurt. Okay, so it's not instant death. It's just gonna hurt a lot. Psst, well, you know, similar. Similar thing. Uh, we were a bit on yellow before, so I will use one. Okay, yeah, still come in. Oh god, I don't like it. I don't have to sit through the the tour part again. That's what's that's what's making me nervous. Oh, that's not fair. The cam, the controls to go a bit wonky, but so the camera changing. Ah, oh, we made it out. Oh. <laughs> Jesus. We did make it out. I'll fight them anyway. Oh, well, whatever. Let's go. Hey, ticket. Booth. A woof woof. Oh, they're really shucking the enemies that do this time, aren't they? You ready? Just like Silent Hill 1, swing rocket. Cutscene coming. I think. I don't want to play with it so much. <laughs> I want to do something. Is there no other way off here? I like, haven't got a map either. It's one of the only areas I think that haven't had a map. Oop, what was that? Gotta be away, yeah. I would have thought get it going with this. on the floor, nothing. Okay. <laughs> Hi. Ooh, hello. <laughs> I'm so nervous. Right, we we ended up now uh Stage area. That's all right. We gonna see a play. <laughs> She's not doing the whole spiel with the popcorn <laughs> this time. Give me, give me, give me the shoe. That shoe. Good. Won't be needing that. I can't remember how we actually get to it, but we will be needing it. Is 
horse? Ah, horse's head. Who were the horse? Oh, I thought it was going to be a reference to, to the ass uh, in some night stream. Nope. Oh, I'll drink. Shotgun shells. We've used quite a few of those lately with the boss and everything, so why not? Look what I found when running around. I took a while. <laughs> so I found a chain, and now I know what to use it for. Oh my god. Why would there be two key items in such a sort of smallish area like that? I wasn't expecting it, see. Anyway, we're right by where we need to use this, so. I think. Um, well, it mentioned it on the gate. Yeah, there we go. Attach a chain to the door handle. This half is fine, but I'll do something with the other half. Hint, hint. The other place where it said it should work. But we examined it. Can't use that yet. Well, you can. <laughs> Here we go. Odd. <laughs> and now we'll get it started, don't we? Ooh, it's open. Handgun bullets. Anything else? No? Okay. Let's get started. There we go. That was easy. Okay. Oh, by the way, I'm going to try and finish the... This place today. The amusement park. Douglas! You're late. Are you hurt? I can't move my right leg. I think it's broken. I'll call an ambulance. Wait. I don't think one will come. Don't worry. I'm used to it. You... You... You old fool! Getting yourself hurt like that. Sorry. Why did you have to do that for me? What'll I do if you die? What'll we do if this god thing gets born? <laughs> Come on. How powerful could a god from a dump like this be? <sighs> I'm sure it'll be no big deal. Something is gonna happen. <sighs> Who knows? Maybe we'd all be better off if it did. But if this is how a god of mercy acts, I don't want to see any more of him. That's a pretty good reason to risk my life, don't you think? Plus, I'm just an old fool, right? What? You think you're Superman or something? You know, I always wanted to be him. Besides... Yeah? I want to help you out. You don't have to feel responsible. I know it's not your fault. You... <clears throat> you remind me of my son. You said nobody was going to cry for you. Dead people don't cry. Stupid kid. Got himself shot robbing a bank. But why? Maybe because his pop was a penniless good for nothing. Who knows? Anyway, I guess now I'll never find out. <sighs> Sorry. I shouldn't have said you reminded me of a guy like him. <laughs> Well, maybe if you had compared me to your daughter. <laughs> Listen, I'll take care of the rest. You stay here, and I'll be back when it's over. You'll be okay by yourself? Hey, no problem. Besides, my dad's not around anymore, so only I can do this.
What are you doing? Maybe killing you here is the only way to end this nightmare. Yeah, you might be right. No. I want to go back and see him. What is it? I just came by to make sure you're still alive. Sorry. I'd come with you if I wasn't hurt. Yeah. Well, I guess that's the problem with older guys, huh? I'll handle things. You just rest. Don't die on me, okay? By the way, can I have a gun? <laughs> Let's see if... Can we do it again? What is it? I... Just came by. Mm, same thing. Never mind them. Oh, that's where we came from. Why was it pointing us backwards? Nah, no, nothing interesting. Okay, just a gate back there, so we won't bother with that. Well wrong by yeah. Oh, that's the gate we came from. They both just are greeny colour, so. Alright. Teacups! Oh, I miss fairgrounds and theme parks. Now we're in lockdown again, over in Wales. Another two weeks, they said, but it'll be much longer. They said about two weeks last time, I'm sure. Or months. Yeah. Just keeps getting extended and extended, doesn't it? We don't want to go in there yet. We need to go in the fortune house, because we've got an item that we need. We've got the red shoe. This is the other one. There's two of them. Not shoes, but two items. Ooh. Client called Claudia Wolf. Ooh. Request searching for then infant Alessa Gillespie, kidnapped by man named Harry Mason. This is what was given to to Douglas then. No word from police, kidnap location unknown. Old Silent Hill newspaper article, Alessa Gillespie, dead in fire. Links to current case to be investigated, priority low. Using Elias, Heather, neighbours do not know real name. What's the hiding? What is she hiding? Okay, so goes book. Uh, anything else in here? Well, I know there is something else. Ah, the skull. Or doll head, whichever you want to call it. <laughs> Ample, good. Of course we're going to save at the at the crystal ball. <laughs> this symbol usually looks unnatural and weird, but here it sort of seems to fit. It still makes me feel creepy, though. Makes you feel creepy. Creeped out? Like someone peeking into my brain. Yeah, like I said, we're going to try and finish off. Finish the, uh, the area off this time. And I know we've got a boss coming, so... Oh, shock. <laughs> it's a good one. It's a hard one, but it's a good one. That's why it gave us the ampoule. Oh, look at this. Oh, this is creepy. Anything around you? A couple of weird flowers. Mushrooms. Asmund land style. It's all fairy tale-ish. And the puzzle is actually called, I did a bit of research on this, the Machen Travel uh, puzzle. Machen meaning like fairy tale-ish. Yeah. <laughs> Just a <laughs> bit of info for you. Snow White doll. We're going to give... Hold on. We're going to give the doll to this one. The doll head. I don't know what that's got to do with Snow White. Maybe in the main fairy tale instead of the Disney film I've seen. It's a skull, but is it referring to the apple she's holding? I don't know. And the shoe to Cinderella. <clears throat> that one's a bit more obvious. Let's go. I think you die if you don't do it. Nope. But we have, so no issues. Oh, 
Dino. Oh, dragon. Okay, that makes more sense. Yeah, it's because there's anything back here? No. I'll be honest, this is one of my favourite areas in any Silent Hill game. I just love theme parks. I haven't been to one for years, and I miss some. Dahlia's the one who said it, said that the girl was a demon, that she took my daughter for a sacrifice. But it's not totally believable. I mean, appearances can be deceiving. When I saw that photo in the hospital basement, I thought, that girl looks like Shaol. Is that why I feel this way? Something's not normal anyway. Nothing good will come of this, but I just can't think of her as a demon. Is it my imagination or do I f actually feel sorry for her? Why do I feel like she's looking for someone to help? Shaol's what's important to me. Everything else can wait until I've gotten her back. Dated some 17 years earlier and signed by Harry. Hmm. A couple of stun gun batteries. I don't know if we'll ever, if we'll have to make use of them or not, but we got them. I don't know if maybe I should have gone the other way first. But let's have a little look around here. Oh, first aid kit. Popcorn? No. Oh. <laughs> She's fed up with popcorn now. Do need to go on there, but I am going to head back just for a split second. Because there was another way to go, wasn't there? I, I don't want to miss anything. Ooh. Okay. Hello. Hello, puppy. No, it doesn't seem to be much going on around here. We haven't had any weapon for a long time. Like, this game was giving us tons of weapons all at once. I feel like we haven't had a rifle, like the first two games. Whether you do actually get a rifle in this game or not, I can't remember, but... Yeah. Here we go. Boss coming. Really nice looking one too. Is it not yet? Is it a bit further before the boss? It is a sort of fight. Get the katana on the go. <laughs> there we go, once you hear the screamy thing. Like the proper dead horse whinny. <laughs> yeah. Sometimes you don't waste your ammo on this part, because God knows you fine without that. I'm just going for the outside ones first. The way they're breathing stuff, does that mean I'm getting hurt? I'm not actually sure. Let's double check. No, it's still fine. <laughs> I don't actually know what they're meant to be breathing out. It's a weird part, because why would you think of attacking the horses? I don't think I would. I remember when I first played the game, I had to use a bit of a guide to figure out what to do on this part. So it's just, it's just wandering around. Mashing X, not having a clue. It's a bit tedious, really. Oh, that was a quick one. I wonder if a mole would be a bit better. Okay, still moving, I thought that was odd. Oh, by the side. Here we go. I think it's the last one. Done. Yeah, we're done. <laughs> oh. When 13 turns count 4, you'll die from their curse. 
First to escape, there is but one way out. To kill before you're killed, you will be saved by the twelfth death. I think that means this boss is timed, and like I said, it's a hard one, so it's just a matter of keeping on trying and trying. So let's get a shorty out to take on Alessa. We need to get behind her, we do. No, in front. Oh shit, once he swings. There we go. Yeah, so she can't guard. Like, we can guard with a shorty as well, but. She's a bit unpredictable, so it's hard to guard with a shorty with her. Oh, you bitch. I think she hits hard as well. Let's check. <laughs> and the hitbox isn't exactly amazing, so you can't see if the swipe will do a ton of damage. Uh, will hit us from afar. Right. It's not like in the first game when you're fighting Sybil. Right, all health drinks gone. Um, you can't just use like a blood pack or something and off you go to a different ending. No. <laughs> oh shit. I was trying to guard. Where'd she go? she is. If I could see her then, if the camera was a bit round the other way, I would have been able to get a hit in. Down she goes. Hello again. With a gun this time, is it? Steel pipe, okay. Long range, powerful. <laughs> that was an easy one. Seems like if we keep on at doors, not too bad. We're gonna have to heal again though. We've got plenty of first aid kits, so it's alright. <sighs> if I could move around that bloody horse then. What? Down in one? Wow. Ah, oh, not down in one. I was waiting for it to swing to do it. Ah, <laughs> oh, no. How was we not getting hurt then? I went a bit wonky. the boss. I like, actually got a trophy for it. I didn't think I did that well. Oh. oh, okay. 
It would be better for myself to die. After all, it's nothing to be afraid of. That child, that demon. When I think of the endless pain it will bring when it is birthed, I decided that instead of the suffering and cruelty I endured in that sick room, that I would like to bestow a more gentle and peaceful death on myself. Why do I resist? I never thought of myself as such a fool. A lesser. I guess it's kind of strange for me to call you that since you are not, since you are me. But you know what? You and I don't think alike, after all. And it's not... It's not that I don't remember that sick room either. No. Huh. No, I thought I would go through there. Ah, oh, this way. Let's take off the shorty. I said take... There we go. <laughs> We should make it to the church now, and I think that's the last area of the game, if I remember right. Or maybe it'll be a bit of something on the way there. Give to you unreservedly my body and my eternal soul. Whatever darkness be before me, I will endure with you beside me. Okay. <clears throat> As proof of your miraculous power, guide our obedient and willing souls to the road of paradise, O Lord. We will not give in to the power of temptation as long as we have you in our hearts. Oh Lord, save us with the compassion, blessings, favour us with abundance. Just religious stuff. Okay, it seems to be getting a bit no more normal as we're going up. Something written on the door. This door is the gate which leads to the road to paradise. Embrace the bosom of the Holy Mother. Admit your sins and be forgiven. Eternal tranquility can be yours. How did you get here? It was Vincent, wasn't it? He led you here. When will he cease his meddling? But it's just as well. Luring you here also serves my purposes. Checkmate. Not yet. The time is not yet at hand. The time when all will be forgiven their sins. When the paradise we have long dreamed for will arrive. After the judgment and atonement, an eternity of bliss. Oh, Alessa, the world you wanted is nearly here. That's not what I want. Not you. A lesser, your true self. But I am a lesser. My little Claudia, my dear sweet sister. A lesser? Is it you? Oh, how I've missed you! I don't need another world. It's fine the way it is. But you said it yourself. The world must first be cleansed with fire! But that's not what I want now. Alessa, don't you want happiness? Have you become blind to all the hopeless suffering in the world? We need, we all need God's salvation! Listen, suffering is a fact of life. Either you learn to deal with that, or you go under. Uh, you can stay in your own little dream world, but you can't keep hurting people. Uh, besides, I'll never forgive you for hurting my father. I wish only for the salvation of mankind. But for that to happen, the world must first be remade. And for that, we need God. You self-righteous witch! No one asked you to help! God is growing within you. You despise me, don't you? You're damn right I do! That's good.
Oh, Heather, you nearly tricked her. <laughs> so, save point buddy. Let's have a look what's back here first. I have night tarot card. Okay, we need to collect a few of those, but that'll be next time. <laughs> Might be able to finish the game next time. Or, well, two more episodes I'll go for. So, this has been Greeny XI. Hope you've enjoyed. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you again in a bit when we make a start on the final, <laughs> the final dungeon, the final area, and see what the church is all about. In bit, folks.